Right, next issue is these studs. So that studs in, it's got a time slot, obviously that one doesn't fit. It did have one of these helicoils in, but unfortunately uh, it wasn't tight enough fit. I can't put another helicoil in, I can't put another time slot in because that hole's already too big. Um, so I'm gonna have to come up with a kind of my own version of a time slot. Sorry, my own version of a helicoil. Uh, it's going to make out some aluminium bar so basically m12 uh outside which will wind into there i'll drill and tap that m12 and then i'll drill through the middle and put the ma125 uh thread onto the inside so this effectively go into there and that will go into the holes Right, so I made one of these and I cut the threads, I tightened the die down a bit too much and when I put it in, uh, it did go in and then it just rattled around so it wasn't a good enough fit. So I did another one which is in now, that's locked tight in and that's nice and firm. Um, and all I did with that was when I used the die to cut the thread, I... In and tie it up. I just ran a normal nut down it and it just cleaned it up just enough so it's still quite a tight fit, but um, it actually I managed to get it in there. I'm going to make a little insertion tool so I've got a bit of rod M8 by 125. And then all I'm going to do is weld a nut to it, uh, maybe another plate as well, just to give it a bit more area. And then obviously a nut at that end, probably weld that on so I can drive it in without actually having to use the stud to do it. Just checking that the drill guide inserts okay into the holes and it's a nice tight fit, which it is, so pleased with that. So where I am now, I've got this on, as you can see, actually I think the holes are not too bad. 
However, it's just held on by these. So what I'm going to do, I need something to come up here so I can screw into here. So when I go in with the drill here through the guide, then um, it's not going to pick up and try and move this left or right. So I'm just going to come up with something just to allow me to secure that at 90 degrees to that. It's a very quick uh, afterthought video of how I got this location to stop this moving. So just a piece of angle drilled through the bottom engine mount with a bolt and then another hole in here into the aluminium. There's a thread so I can adjust how far that comes because it physically screws in there. Once that's square, all I need to do is then just lock off these two lock nuts with the spanner, lock that one, and lock this one, and then it's nice and square and it can't move and it didn't move when I did it. Right, my over elaborate, probably over complicated uh, way of re-threading these holes that are too big for heli calls and too big for time sets. Um, I was going to do it on a mill, but it's a bit tight and a bit difficult, so I made this plate. It's 10 mil alley. Uh, I made it as a guide. Uh, also, it it goes onto the base and it allows it doesn't allow any swarf to get in. So that's just held down by the one stud that's actually still there. And as you can see, got holes in there. That's the drill guide, and then. I've got a stop on here, so I can obviously get it square, but also only go down to a certain depth because they are blocked off at the bottom of these two holes. That one goes all the way through, but if I go through there, it's going to be into the gearbox, which is not going to be good. So I've just made uh, a little stop on my drill, and then once I've drilled it, I should be able to use this, which uh, is a tap guide. Again, it's just about trying to start it off square because uh, I'm not putting it in the mill so be able to start the tap off in there and then should be able to put my insert in the M12175 M8125 um, and then I gauge this just the nut going down there quite a tight fit um, that seems to work it seems to give a good fit with no wobble and then these inserts just go on there a flat bottom bit of stud lock and then obviously I'll insert it in and that should then give me a good thread base so I can put the studs back in. Right let's go for it. Okay, a bit of an issue. Uh, I can't string the tap all the way around, however, I'm just doing it like this. It's not quite as quick, however. Right, I've given these a good clean out. I've checked the with a screw how far it goes in. I've actually shortened a couple. So that's the long one which is going to go there. So I'm going to put that over here. And then I've got the two short ones here. They've been brake cleaned, and uh, I'm going to stick a bit of thread lock on them. Not too much because it seems to goop out quite a bit. I'm going to put it in. So wish me luck. Screw this up. <laughs> Not good. And the first one goes in. Type fit, which is good. If I want, I'm going all the way to the bottom.
exactly what I didn't want to happen. It's not gone all the way in, annoyingly. So, however, it is in. I'm just going to have to file that off, which is a bit annoying. Okay, here's what I've done. Uh, Give this a good clean. I've put a lot of tape around here, so no fun should be able to get into uh, the crankcase. He says, uh, taped it up. Obviously, any filings and that should, in theory, stick to the tape anyway. Um, and then it's just a matter of very gently <laughs> filing this down. With that cocks it up here too much like that I think my idea of um, I just basically put a bit of tape on there and then use this as the level and then it just goes across like that and that's keeping it square I can't feel that now there's no that's come down I've took a bit off there a bit annoyed about that however I should have enough sealing surface I'm gonna end up making gaskets probably stack jack of paint jack up plates out of aluminium anyway so there will always be some goo on the bottom of there to seal any imperfections so uh, I'm quite happy with that it's just a bit quicker than getting itself in the mill I'm just going to do these two now and then I'll insert the studs and we'll be done so finally I've got the studs in they're in nice and tight I've got the barrel cylinder whatever you want to call it that sits on quite nicely good fit you yeah, that click it's located it's on the bottom there's nothing sticking out so now I'm able obviously when I get the piston in I'm able to establish the port heights uh, and I can go from there with the rest of it in terms of the actual what I've done yeah I thought it's worked reasonably well a little bit over complicated um, it could have been a bit simpler, but I went a bit over the top with this to make sure the drill, drill and tap are in square. Uh, and also with this pocket here, so the con rod could sit in there, this was flat to the base gasket area, which meant uh, no swarf got in, because I did have the crank in and I didn't really want to take the engine apart. Uh, bits have changed, yeah, wash one here, I think would have helped. Uh, I'm not sure if it's getting stuck on there, the insert, because this is a bit grabby, this material. And with the um, the thread lock, it might have been sticking a bit. So I think a washer just let it slide a little bit more. Um, and the other thing, flat bottom tap next time to get all the way down the threads. I think that's why it wasn't bottoming, bottoming, bottoming out. Not easy for me to say. Um, however, we got it in. We filed off the excess. They're in, and it's secure. So any questions, uh, please put them in the comments and. As always, like and subscribe if you'd like to see what's happening next, which is, yeah, measuring, establishing the port timing and seeing what power capacities the ports can, can, uh, can take. Cheers.